Hi, everyone, and welcome back. Well, since its inception in 1988, our next speaker has spearheaded Trend Micro's emergence as one of the world's most innovative internet content security companies. In her presentation, Be Your Best Self, she will speak about her career journey as a female in the technology industry for more than 30 years and the importance of doing what you are passionate about. Please welcome Ava Chen, CEO of Trend Micro. Hello, girls in tech. This is Eva Chen of Trend Micro. I am the co-founder and CEO of Trend Micro. But today, I'm standing here talking to you just as a girl in tech for 30 years, 30 more years, or a woman in tech now. And I'd like to share with you three stories of mine about a girl in tech uh, journey in the tech industry. The first story I'd like to share with you is a story about telephone line. Young generation may be wondering what is a telephone line, you know? Long time ago, their telephone does have a line, a physical line. So when I first started Trend Micro, I was in Taiwan and I have engineers and co-workers in Tricoslavia. And I have an engineer, Paula. He, we always talk on the phone until like two years later, he finally get to come to Taiwan and visit our office. And when he come, we work together for 10 days together. And finally he look at me and say, Eva, you actually is a nice person. And I was like, what? Why do you think I'm not a nice person? What happened? And he said, oh, you know, before we only talk on the phone and you always on the phone, you always look so, so, so impassioned. And sometimes I'm scared of you because it looked like you want to hang up my phone so much. I was like, really? That's me? And then I started to go and go out and ask all my friends from high school, my cousin, and I asked them, do you think I'm so differently on the phone? And they all like, huh, you didn't know? Everybody knows that you, you don't like to talk on the phone. And on the phone, you always sounds like you want to hang up the phone. I was like, why? I started to, to, start to try to understand why I always want to uh, hang up the phone. And one day, it just happened that it was a big thunderstorm. And I look at the thunderstorm and suddenly I remember. I remember the scene that I was living in a uh, Japanese style house, wooden house. And back then, the telephone line is always along the wall. And that day, my mom was on the phone. I was probably under five years old. I was beside her, sitting on the bed. She was on the phone. And there was a thunderstorm. The thunder hit the tree on the backyard. The tree falls and then there is a line. I don't know if it's telephone line or is electricity line. It's just the line was catching fire around the, the wall. And all I remember is my mom suddenly threw up the phone and hold me down to the bed. So in my memory, I always remember is telephone line might kill my mom. So I'm afraid of telephone line. But until I was so old that I realized that was why so many people all know that I'm afraid of telephone line and I didn't know by myself. So that is just the first story I want to tell you. You might discover yourself in a very different time. And the way to discover it is always try to ask other people and look for your own blind side. And once, you know, once I knew that that is why I'm afraid of the telephone line, I overcome it. So discover yourself. That's the story, first story I want to share with you. First, 
discover yourself by asking around and finding your blind spot. The second story I want to share with you is butterfly. Butterfly. Actually, until now, I didn't know why. But ever since I was very little, I am so afraid of butterflies. I don't know why, but really, if you look at the butterfly on the head and you blow it up, it looks like a person without a nose and mouth and, and have no hair. It's just scary, very scary. So I'm afraid of butterfly. So butterfly, but I remember when I first took over, become the CEO, I decided I want to overcome my fear about butterfly. Why? I'll tell you later, but back then, I don't know why I'm afraid, but I forced myself. I, I buy those uh, dead butterfly. They, they framed it in the big uh, picture frame. I buy a lot of them and I put it on my bedroom, hang it up, and then all my, all everything, everything of my notebook, everything, I just put a lot of picture of butterfly on there and force myself to face it. So at the end, I can sleep well with all the dead butterfly around me and I can look at my notebook without any, any problem anymore. So why is that? I think at that time, I know as a girl from tech and uh, facing this gigantic responsibility of CEO, I'm afraid. But I need to overcome my fear. So I use this butterfly. I just say, I want to overcome whatever fear I have. So I use this butterfly as the symbol. I look at it and I overcome it. And then I get my confidence. So until now, or train my core people know, that I like to wear earring with a butterfly. It's just as a symbol. Whenever I'm facing a decision, I'm facing a, a situation I'm afraid, I would touch my butterfly earring and tell myself, yes, you can do it. You can overcome the fear. So whatever you are afraid of, I don't know if you are afraid of butterfly, but choose something that you are afraid of, overcome it, then you will have this, this courage and always remind yourself, yes, you can do it. That's the second story I want to share with you. Overcome your fear. That's my butterfly story. The third story is not a story, it's a picture. You might all saw this picture before. Some see it as a rabbit, some see it as a duck, some see both of them. No one is right or wrong. All I'm telling you is, remind yourself, if you see a duck, make friends with people that see it as a rabbit and vice versa. Just we tend too much, especially girls. We, we like to get uh, find friends that is similar to us, have the same interests, that have the same background, and we, we are good friends together. But if you want to expand yourself, you need to understand other people's perspective. So force yourself. Sometimes you see someone that is totally not your style, try to make friends with them. Even if it's a man, it's okay, right? They always have different perspective. So understand others' perspective. Those are the three stories that I want to share with you as a girl in tech industry for 30 more years and grow up to be a woman and comfortable to be a woman. I can wear pink, I can wear skirt, I can go to any conference to be myself. And I, I believe that's the best way because only when you are the best of yourself, then you can expand. You find who you are, what you're really passionate about and what are you good at. And then you can combine that with your business, with your career. 
then that's the head heart. You can be a great person. You can be a great girl in tech or in any industry or in your life. So at the end, I just want to tell you this three story, be yourself, but always try to discover yourself, expand yourself and understand, overcome your own weakness. Then you can be the best part of yourself. So congratulations, all girls in tech. I love girls in tech. And these are my fellow girls in tech in Trend Micro. So I believe those passionate girls in tech will make the world a better place to be. Thank you. CEO of Trend Micro. This session has come to a close. Join us in the next session starting now.